Article 135 of the Constitution. There's freedom of information and the right to access to any information held by any public officer. Article 35. We as Kenya Kwanzaa have enough lawyers in our closet to go to court and demand this information and we will do so. That the government ignored demands in the past doesn't mean they'll get away with it this time. And in addition to that, this letter signed by Ukuru Yatani and its content indicate that the Attorney General of the Republic of Kenya is an accomplice to this fraudulent transaction because he has sanctioned the transaction. In comparable democratic jurisdictions, Yatani and Justice Kariuki must reconsider their positions yes. and resign and leave office. One, in the name of accountability, but more importantly, for fair and transparent investigations to be carried out in their conduct that they may not leave because impunity is the other name for the government of Jubilee, headed by President Uhuru Kenyatta, that they will not leave only lends credit to the statement that we have issued today that there's an opaque, corrupt, stinging, and above all, and people transaction aimed at robbing our assets, which we as Kenya Kwanzaa the incoming government by August this year will not countenance and we will and we want to tell them clearly that they may ignore this statement for now. After 10th August it will be a different ball game. And you all know that we have other stinging transactions that will much sooner than later be releasing in small doses to them for Kenyans to know the saga behind the expressway and many other things. Thank you.